Hi guys, how are you all? Okay, today my intention is to explain about one of the most important grammatical portions what you are going to get in the term examination and that is question time. And most of the students might have the idea regarding this or you might have learned in the previous classes especially in 7th or 8th or 9th. Okay, anyhow, see, this is the easiest part in English grammar. And see, suppose now you might be thinking, what is question tag? It is nothing just question tags are used when we want the listener to confirm what we have said. Something is said by someone. In order to confirm that matter, we add a tag at the end of the sentence. I repeat. Question tags are used when we want the listener to confirm what we have said. For example, uh, I was late yesterday, wasn't I? I was late yesterday, wasn't I? Wasn't I is the tag. By adding the tag, we are confirming that whether I was late or not. In the same manner, he is a good boy, isn't he? By asking, isn't he, we are confirming whether he is good or not. He is a good boy, isn't he? In the same manner, she is coming tomorrow, isn't she? She comes today, doesn't she? I did my homework, didn't I? So many examples I said now. And question tags are used when we want the listener to confirm what we have said. And see now most of the students might be thinking that how can I make the tag for a statement? It is very simple. There are four rules for writing question tag. In order to make the tag for the given statement, there are four rules and they are the first one, remove the full stop and put a comma. For example, listen, a sentence here. She will come today. This is the given sentence. I hope you are uh, able to see this. See. She will come today. This is the given statement. For this statement, we want to make the tag. And ask for the first rule. What is that? Here she will come today. This sentence ends with a, a full stop. A full stop. So listen, here in this case, as the first rule, we must remove this full stop and put it on there for that purpose. We want to repeat the sentence as it is. She will come today. She will come today and the first rule, change this full stop to comma. And second rule is pick out the helping rule. And one more thing we want to remember, while we find out the helping rule, if the positive form is given, use the negative form in tag. If the negative form is given, use the positive form in the tag. Here will is the helping word and this is positive. So what is the negative form? In the previous class we learned to make a negative sentence, just add a not along with the, the helping word. So will plus not and most of the students they think that this villain is not villain, it is what? W O N apostrophe T. So as I told you, as for the second rule, pick out the helping word. In the given sentence, the helping word is will. Am I right? And this is positive. So this, this has to be changed into negative. So it becomes what? And as for the third rule, write the pronoun. The pronoun is she. Pronoun in the sense already we have discussed. It's a word used in place of a noun. And here she, the direct pronoun is given. What? She. And finally, put a question mark at the end. Put a question mark at the end. She will come today. Won't she? That is the fact. She will come today. Won't she? Whether she comes or not, we are confirming by adding this tag. And in a short manner, in order to remember these four rules, I have a small formula here. Question tag, we can remember QT, short form. Question tag is equal.
equal to comma. First rule, change in this full stop to comma. Plus positive or negative helping verb. In the sense, if the help positive form is given, make that into negative. If negative form is given, that has to be changed into positive. Vice versa. If the sentence is positive, tag will be negative. If the sentence is negative, tag will be positive. I will give just uh, the next rule, that is pronoun, third rule. Write the pronoun of the subject of the sentences. In most of the cases, they may give the pronoun as it is. If the noun is given according to the noun, use the correct pronoun. And that is third rule. And finally, put a question mark at the end. It is very easy to remember. Question tag is equal to first change comma, then positive or negative helping verb plus pronoun of the subject of the sentence and finally question mark. And let us go through a few other examples to listen. All the rule is mentioned there in short form. So it may help you in writing the answers. Next one, see. Example. He can do it. He can do it. In this sentence, the helping verb is can and that is the positive form. Am I right? Ask for the first rule, comma. We have to change this full stop to comma. So repeat the sentence. He can do it, comma. Then positive or negative helping verb. Here, the sentence is positive, so the tag will be negative. And what is the negative form of can? Can plus not. It is can't. Can't. And pronoun is given. Next is pronoun of the subject. He. And finally, question mark. He can do it. Can't he? Whether he can do it or not. And the last example is in Raju. Raju doesn't know Raju doesn't know English. The given sentence is Raju doesn't know English. Listen, here as for the first rule, we have to change this full stop to comma. So listen, how can we Raju Raju doesn't Raju doesn't no English comma. The next is positive or negative helping verb. Here negative form is given. Does plus not does it. The negative form is given. So the positive form is does. I repeat once again. If the sentence is positive, tag will be negative. If the sentence is negative, tag will be positive. Does and Raju is the name of a male person. So we can use here the pronoun he and finally question mark. Listen, actually the same question time, it is further classified into four. Four in the sense, now I just explained about the sentences with a helping word. With a helping word. And in the next class, I shall explain how to make the time for the sentences without a helping verb in the same manner question time for imperative sentences and the fourth one question time for the sentences starting from letters and today i just explained about how to make the time for the sentences with a helping verb do you understand for your comfortability the same portion is further for the classified into two for your comfortability and they are the first one question time for the sentences with a helping verb that is what I explained today in the next video I shall explain how to make the time for the sentences with a helping verb in the same manner third one question time for imperative sentences and the last one question time for the sentences starting from let us Hope you understand. It is very simple. I, I repeat. Listen.
question tag. The rules for writing question tags are first one remove the full stop and put a comma. Then pick out the helping verb. If the sentence is positive, tag will be negative. If the sentence is negative, tag will be positive. Then write the pronoun of the subject of the sentence and last one put a question mark at the end. And this is very easy to remember. And if you learn this, you will be given one mark in the examination. And this question must be asked in MCQ, in the standard question paper. Okay, have a nice day. Be safe. Stay in home.